This is our second part of basic math trade related problems. So the problem we have today is we're trying to find out different dimensions here using our drawing. That's an overhead view drawing, uh, uh, bird eyes view, a plan view, a washroom stall. A washroom stall that you might find in a public washroom. And what we have here down the left hand side and then across the back is a, a block wall. So the outside wall. The gray thin walls are the actual washroom stall partitions that separate each uh, water closet from each other. Around the outside we have a few dimensions. And we'll start with a couple at the top here. We have 38 inches, typical. And when you see typical, that means that um, it's a typical measurement. So this is the measurement that's showing from the, the width of the stall. So from the block wall over to the partition, the inside dimension, from inside wall to inside wall. And so all washrooms are typically, in this drawing, going to be 38 inches. The other typical measurement is 9 inches. And that is indicating the thickness of that partition wall. So the partition wall is going to be 9 inches inches thick and every other partition wall will also be nine inches thick. Down the left hand side we have another couple of measurements. The first measurement is 20 inches which is showing the thickness of that block wall which is 28 inches sorry 20 inches and the next measurement is 25 inches and that's referring to the back wall the block wall from the inside behind the water closet over to the center of this big circle. And this big circle is our water closet flange, the part that where our water closet attaches to the, the plumbing system, drainage system. So from off that wall to the center of that flange is 25 inches. The other measurement we have down the side here is 28 inches. We're going from the center of that big flange all the way down, and it lines up with the other circle, which is an open circle. And that open circle has a dot, 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 dash, dash, dash line going away. And that is our plumbing vent that's taking off for our water closet. So the center of that circle to the center of that circle, straight down. We put like an imaginary line going down here to make it, it would make a right angle triangle. It would be 28 inches on that side. So first piece of pipe that we are trying to solve here is the letter A. The letter A goes from the center of that big circle, the flange, water closet flange, and goes on a 45 degree angle, that's important, over to the open circle, which happens to be where our vent connection is. So this is on a 45 degree. We're trying to find the length of that pipe from center to center. If you revert back to your 45 degree offsets, single offsets, you'll remember that the offset or the advanced you can find the travel. And this A is like the travel piece. It's on the angle here. So A, to find A, which is travel, we take our offset or advance, and depending how you look at it, the offset or the advance here is 28 inches. We're going to multiply it by our factor we remember from our 45 degree factors, and that is 1.414. We're going to times by 1.414. And that will give us center to center for pipe A is 39 and 9 16 inches. Up next, we're trying to solve B. B is the vent connection, like I said. So coming off of the, uh, the pipe from the water closet, the open circle there, the dash, dash, dash line, all the way up to the dark uh, colored in circle there, black circle, which is located in that block wall. And it looks like to me that it's halfway. It's right in the middle of that block wall. So keep that in mind. So in order to find the B, we're going to take the 28 inches for the offset advance we know that goes from the, the open circle up the dashed line, just in line with the center of the flange. We're going to add on the 25, put the 25 from the flange back to the wall. And then what we're going to do is we're going to add on to 20 inches for the block wall, but because it's right in the middle, we're going to divide in half, divided by two. So 28 inches plus 25 added to 20 divided by two. 
And that means for B, our center to center dimension for B will be 63 inches. Center to center. And that's the end of part one. Part two. Thank you.